Bee Swarm Simulator is very obviously not going to last forever. It's sad to say, but the game will eventually lose a lot of popularity. So the main question is, what's going to happen next? Because Ana in the past has said that he does want to start other projects, make other games. And so that's why in this video, I'm going to be explaining what that game might be and giving all of my theories on what could be coming next from Onnit. Also, I'm spending a few hours of my Saturday making this for you guys. So if you could take just a few seconds to subscribe, it would really mean a lot and with that said here we go here are my theories on what's coming next and what game on it is going to be creating soon all right so starting off why in the world am i even assuming this well a lot of players have been losing motivation to play the game and on it's been losing motivation to actually create the game as he said before and he does kind of just want to add his last few things that he wants into the game before he inevitably starts working on another project so the main question is what in the world is that project actually going to be well for starters we have to look at what could happen now on it's not updating beast Swarm simulator anymore just because he doesn't have the passion so there's either a chance that he just doesn't want to make another simulator game or he's just lost all interest in this one now before we get into that there is one thing we can conclude and that's the style of the game we actually have to look at beast Swarm to know what's going to come next because when you look at beast Swarm simulator you wouldn't say it's really high quality but i don't mean that in a bad way beast Swarm style is kind of just a cartoony look. I don't know if Onnit's capable of creating more realistic things, maybe he is, but I think that in Onnit's next game, he's probably going to stick with this blocky style. You know, kind of just cartoony, not crazy overwhelming with detail, just like some nice simple stuff so you can see what's going on. Like literally, just take this gate for example, Onnit could have made like an entire chain link fence, some fancy gates with like crystals and doors or whatever, and instead he just made a little arch and called it a day, and honestly, it's really nice that way. So first of all, we can conclude that on its new game will probably be kind of simplistic or maybe not considering these are all just theories now after that what will the game itself actually be about now you guys may have seen the atrium trailer it's a trailer for on its new game called atrium it's supposed to be a horror game with bee swarm lore now if you didn't know this as well the trailer for atrium is actually just an april fool's joke played by the bee swarm simulator leaks discord moderators but i feel like we can still get some information out of this for on its next game because obviously on it doesn't have motivation to make bee swarm content but i don't think he's gonna completely stop like i feel like in on its new game he's probably still going to include some hints references or possibly even lore to bee swarm simulator i don't know about lore but i feel like in this new game there probably will be some references to bee swarm simulator like maybe there will be a hidden basic bee somewhere in the map as on it does like to do stuff like that so now for the big question is this game actually going to be a simulator what the heck is it going to be on well obviously the actual theme of the game we can't predict like no one would have ever predicted that this game would be about bees so there's no way we can predict exactly what on its next game will be about exactly but i do have a theory on what the next game is going to be now for starters one thing i'd like to say is that it's most likely not going to be another simulator just because on it's been keeping up this simulator for five years and i feel like he's probably not willing to do much more it seems like there's probably no way i could predict what's going to happen next that's partially right but i feel like i still can with the information I have, which is on its creating style, because if you played Beast Swarm Simulator, you know that it's completely unique. Sure, there are a ton of simulators out there, and this could have just been like every other simulator, but it's not. On it specifically took time to add other things that other simulators don't, to add other mechanics and make it just different. So one thing's for certain, on its next game is not going to be anything we've ever seen before. It's not really going to have its own genre, because sure, Beast Swarm Simulator is a simulator, but it's also kind of just its own thing with its own mechanics and i feel like with the next game that on it makes it's probably going to be that way as well on it's kind of going to create his own gameplay my personal favorite theory is that on it's going to actually make a game with some sort of storyline because i know beast Swarm simulator doesn't really have one as i would love a game with a storyline game's probably going to have a really large map and kind of just more adult like now i don't mean it's not going to be kid friendly but i think on it's going to take some time to make something that looks a little more complicated than beast Swarm simulator so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video these theories aren't easy to make, so if you could subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.